To know when to start dancing and to know how to check that you're dancing in time. So let's listen to this song, The Days of Wine and Roses, and see what will happen with the body. What, what is the natural response of our body when we listen to that song? Imagine you are in a jazz bar. I presume there could be two things happening with your groove when you hear this song. One could be something like this. The other could be like this. Both are perfectly fine. One is half time. One, three, one, three. And this is what is bass, what bass is doing. So this could be your response to the bass. And one is every single beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And this is what the drummer is doing. So both of those things are perfectly correct for the song. And actually, the second one is called the bounce. Take a look. And this feeling. We want to continuously have in our body. I hope you're doing this with me right now. If you're not, let's go together. This is bounce. Bounce is grooving on every single beat of the bass. Take a listen to the bass. Yeah, every single beat. So when we respond to that, we respond to that with bounce. And this is your starting point to be on time. Whatever you're doing from here, one, two, one, two, you're keeping with the bounce. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I do notice that very often um, you actually lose the bounce. I don't see the bounce so much in the movement. And losing the bounce is losing the metronome and the timing of the music. And then all of a sudden we start dancing kind of across the beat. And the beat is uh, what makes what makes the moves and the dance so groovy and on time and together with the music. So the first and most important thing when you put on the song, connect with its groove, connect with its beat, connect with its bounce. Okay. What happens next? Next, let's find the off beat because there's a lot of movements like stomp off or boogie front that we do on off beat. What is off beat and where to hear it? We hear it with hi hat hi-hat, the drummer hits it for us on two and a four. It's a very high-pitched sound. One, two, four, two, four, one, two, four, two, four. Yes. As well, we can find the one that is very important to find the one in the music. Let's hear it if we're bouncing. One. Pronounce it with me. One. What's the next one? One. And that's the beginning of your of some of your cross steps. One. 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 Yes? The off beats. Just if you would like to have a little bit more deeper, deeper explanation about that in Solo Jazz 101, in the fundamentals, there is the, um, a video about the back beat. So check it out to really get into the system, uh, this off beat thing. That's the introduction. We might, we will hear how the story starts. Take a look just there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six. 
And let's start again. One, two, three. Do you say it? Four, two, three, four. And it starts again. Take a listen. One. Yep. So we have to catch those melodic beginnings of the phrases. Once we catch those melodic beginnings of the phrases and the ends of them, we might grab and grasp those, those, the form of A. So another practice for you is before you do any movements is listen to the songs and just try to hear those uh, sentences, yeah, those poetic verses of each, uh, of each song. It's, it's exactly the same thing as poetry or is I, like I'm speaking to you. I always have the beginning of the phrase that continues to somewhere and then I have another beginning of the phrase that goes to somewhere and maybe another phrase that goes to somewhere but at the very end of everything I'm going to give you a conclusion. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that's the form of our jazz song. So before any steps just listen to some jazz songs and try to grasp the beat, the beat, the beat, the beat. Being in the beat of the song is the most important thing we can, we can do.